And uh, at this time, we will, uh, for now, bring up our newest head coach. Uh, so I think he's going to shed that label here very shortly. But uh, he is our newest head coach as of today. So uh, head coach Thomas Hammock, talk about the Husky football program. Certainly excited to be here uh, today. I uh, want to take a minute to thank everybody for coming out today. Um, you know, obviously a new season brings on new opportunities, uh, and that's what we talk to our, our players about day in and day out. You know, today is another opportunity for us to get better in practice. Uh, I think it's going to be a very, very exciting practice if you guys can uh, stick around and watch. But first, I just want to thank uh, Coach Smith, I mean, Mayor Smith, uh, for his challenge um, for the Illinois State game. Uh, that he put on. I think, you know, I'm expecting a, uh, a rambunctious crowd um, and looking forward to uh, people supporting our student athletes and the hard work that they've done. I want to thank Donna and Joe uh, for everything that they do with, with NIU Athletics. Uh, their Twitter game has really improved. Uh, you know, I find myself retweeting now, which is great. I don't have to send the first message. I can just retweet and it, it comes from me. So uh, just thank you for, for everything you do there. You know, uh, Coach Frazier talked about hunger, uh, and our, our players have a hunger to get better. You know, we've had four practices, really excited about what I've seen from practice. Um, the one thing that we, un we understand is competition creates urgency. And not just with the players, we talk about competition with the coaches. So today, um, we, we grade every practice, and we, we, we have a point system that we do for every practice, uh, and we do it in sets of threes. So the, the defense won the first day, the offense won yesterday. And as an incentive, we got different incentives for our players that we're going to give after, you know, whoever team wins. Uh, on the reverse end, we also have incentives for our coaches. So the winning staff today gets off a little bit earlier tomorrow, uh, and the losing staff uh, stays a little bit later. So uh, we're trying to create competition uh, amongst our players, competition, uh, competition amongst our coaches. Uh, and the sense of urgency that I've seen in the first four days have gotten me excited. This spring, there were some days I was a little bit nervous. Uh, but what I've seen, how the guys have come back this summer, uh, the way they're executing, how crisp practice is, how competitive practice is, gets me excited to know if we keep improving uh, every day, we'll have a great chance in every game we play. Just looking at uh, our team just a little bit, you know, uh, offensively, I think we have some quality depth on the offensive line. Uh, adding some guys uh, and getting some guys back from the spring has allowed us to have competition at multiple spots. We got extremely good competition at both guard spots. Uh, we have competition at the left tackle spot. And I think uh, when those guys solidify themselves, you know, I think we'll, we'll like the, the fr uh, front five that we will have. Uh, Jordan Steckler. Is a, is, a, is a staple for us on the, at the right tackle position. And C.J. Perez, he makes a big difference for us in the middle. Uh, he, is a, he is a dynamic player. He is nasty. Um, you know, it, it's exciting to watch practice. You know, I get upstairs and start to watch the practice, and you can't help uh, but notice what C.J. is doing in the middle there for our, for our offense. Tight end position, we got some tight ends com competing. Uh, we will be an offense that utilizes the tight end position. Uh, and 12 personnel, 13 personnel, uh, and some different things and things that we asked them to do in the running game uh, as well as the passing game. Uh, running back position, we got three guys plus one that I, I really think uh, can give us a chance to go out and compete. Uh, definitely in a non-conference schedule, but in the MAC as well with Trey Harbison, Marcus Jones, uh, Jordan Nettles, and then Ravi Valentine is the guy that, you know, I told the coaching staff in 2005 he would have been you know, a three or four on our roster. So it's good to have him in our program uh, working hard. Wide receivers, I mean, we, we have some guys that are catching the football. If you, if you had a chance to watch practice, um, we're completing passes at a high level of efficiency. Guys are coming down with contested catches, which I think is important for us to be uh, explosive on offense. And then at the quarterback position, we got three guys that we are competing. Uh, some things that start to shake themselves out um, at the quarterback position. But today is a major day for us as far as the, the evaluation process. We're going to have some live situations today where guys can be in game-like game, game -like, uh, 
tempo um, in different situations, backed up, goal line, short yardage, some move the ball stuff where we can have a chance to get a live evaluation uh, and make it as game-like as possible. On the defensive side, um, up front, we got some guys in the middle that, that are stout. I think it makes our offense better. Uh, you got Ben Leroy, you got Kramer. Uh, obviously, Heflin is a player that uh, we feel good about. But also, we got some young guys that are, are working extremely hard. Uh, James Esther comes to mind. DeMond Taylor comes to mind. And then we have a, a, a walk-on senior, A.J. Taylor, who's doing a nice job right now in, in the middle of our defense, making it very, very hard for the offense. At the defensive end position, uh, lower back is a guy that, you know, he, he comes back with some sacks and some production win. Uh, Michael Kennedy, Jawan Ditton, and then we got a couple of young guys. I think the great thing about what the NCAA has done is allowed freshmen to play four games. So we're going to be very, very creative in the way that we use freshmen. So we've already started to make some travel uh, adjustments to our roster to see how many guys we need to take at certain spots so we can maximize those freshmen. The linebackers, uh, we really got four guys that we feel are starter type players with Pew, um, Firm, um, Lance, and then Jordan Cole will be the fourth uh, who, who gives us great depth and quality reps. On the back end, down the middle, the safeties are extremely talented, got a lot of experience. Uh, we feel good about what they bring, and then we're going to continue to develop uh, the guys on the outside so we can have quality uh, along the back end of our defense. Looking at the schedule. You know, I think it's a great schedule. Um, anytime you play opponents of the caliber that we're playing, you know, you should go into the MAC, the MAC season feeling confident that you can go out and execute. And so, you know, not to, not to give coach speak, but, you know, right now our only focus is to, to beat Illinois State. Um, but we're, we're putting the tools together now to get ourselves ready for the long haul. Uh, and that's what we're doing uh, in practice. Uh, we've, we've obviously evaluated all four non-conference opponents. Uh, so we're doing different things in practice that we're going to use on those different weeks uh, to make sure we can utilize and give, us, give ourselves the best chance to win. So we feel good um, about, about where we're at. I like, I like the direction of our players. Uh, they're locked in. They're ready to go and just excited about the season. Any questions? Coach, I'm uh, talking about the expecting a rambunctious crowd that first game and being large part of what he's been trying to do, obviously, been rallying the community a little bit. Um, how are you kind of hoping that plays out that first game? What are you really expecting? From the crowd? Yeah. What are you expecting? It to be a full house? You know, I, I really can't say. I, I, I can't get into who's going to come, who's going to be there. The only thing I can expect is for us to be ready to play uh, because we've got a quality opponent. Uh, I don't care what level. Uh, they have a good team. I watched them on tape. Uh, so we got to handle our business on the field. And hopefully we can have the type of crowd and atmosphere that can be very, very hostile uh, to a road team. Coach, I'll get into it when actually we have our media, you know, week one for that game. But there is going to be a running back at ISU, James Robinson. Uh, what would you say that you've seen on tape of him so far during the game plan? Right? Yeah, I wish I was around when he was coming out of high school. Uh, I would have I took a hard look at him. He's a good player. Um, so he's very, very physical. He's a downhill runner. Uh, they like to run right at you. I mean, you know, our defensive line, they better be ready. So uh, we start not to get ahead of ourselves. But, um, you know, that's why we're practicing today. Short yardage, goal line, uh, third and short. I mean, those situations that we're going to be put into come August 31st, we want to make sure we're, we're locked and loaded. How's the uh, quarterback, I guess, battle? Yeah, it's great. I think uh, one thing I, I know is from the spring compared to now, the way our offense is uh, um, working, the efficiency, the downfield throws, uh, I think we're very, very uh, efficient. Uh, our defensive coaches, they upstairs now trying to figure out ways to try to stop our offense, which is great. Um, because in the spring, they kind of had the upper hand. But now coming into fall camp, I think it's 50-50, which normally this time of year, the defense is ahead of the offense. So. I feel good about where, we, uh, what we're, where we're going uh, and the type of looks that we're giving them. And you mentioned Robbie on a little bit there. And obviously, everybody shared last year, and we talked about throughout this you know, all season. But what, what about it, and you like to mention the whole vibe there, what, what about that really translates to what you're doing? Yeah, 
you know, some at the running back position, I think what you see is guys that can stick their foot in the ground close to a defender and get vertical. That's hard. That's hard to coach. Uh, and he do things that you can't coach. And it, he has a natural feel for the position. Uh, he plays physical. He hurt his ankle the other day and then came back the very next day uh, and was practicing at a high level. So to me, that shows a level of toughness uh, that you can't you can't coach. Uh, one thing you can't make players is tougher. Uh, he's naturally tough. He asked me today, uh, do I know what city he's from? It's leaner. He told me that in the spring because he he's from a town of 3,000 people. So uh, I always remember that and, and just having those relationships. But I think he's going to have a chance to help us down the line. Coach, um, with the adjective you used to describe uh, CJ Perez was nasty. Is there anything he does on the field that kind of brings that type of imagery to mind? You know, it's just surprising because when you around CJ off the field, he's the most personable guy you can be around. So he has a, a, a switch that he can flip uh, because I see him, I'm, he laughing, he joking, he, he's everybody's friend. Then he gets on that field and he's everybody's enemy. So uh, we just like the way he, he plays. Um, we're, we're definitely going to be strong down the middle of our offense. One of the things you see, uh, so I saw it yesterday, yesterday at practice was in between stuff, guys enjoying themselves, you know, and keeping everybody up by being just kind of having fun. So what does someone like Weston Kramer bring in terms of just being like a guy whose personality keeps everybody up? Yeah, you know, I, I love Weston Kramer. Uh, you know, he, he he's probably reminds me of myself. You know, if he's got something on his mind, he's going to tell you exactly what he thinks. And I can appreciate that and respect that. And he just has that type of personality that he's going to be direct. He's going to say what's on his mind. You, you can like it or you can hate it, uh, but he's going to be him. And I think people can gravitate toward that. And he's certainly a good player uh, on our D-line. Coach mentioned at the uh, MAC meeting today that whoever picked you guys third to finish in the West there, thank you for that. So uh, now that you get a chance to really let that marry a couple of you know, weeks now, uh, what is these kind of expectations for the season a little tougher from the other you know, coaches as well? You know, um, a lot of times we talk about the process of getting better. Uh, I explained to our team, you know, all that fake motivation, I like to call it, hey, they – picked us third. That lasts about two minutes in the game, and then you get tired, and then now you got to figure out, okay, how I'm going to get better uh, and play the next snap. So, you know, we try not to focus on that. You know, we call that noise, uh, and we talk about ignoring the noise. Uh, nothing really matters outside of this building, the way we practice, the way we go out, uh, and we, we talk about opponents being nameless and faceless. Uh, all we got to do is control what we can control, get better daily, um, the next step today is to go out there today and have a great practice, uh, and, and that's how we operate. We're going to be very uh, process-oriented and uh, take it one step at a time and not get ahead of ourselves.